the vegetables. They're fragile.
mister. What you think you're doing in the Republic of Dave? This is the Republic of Dave. Duh. It's named for President Daddy. But you have to talk to him if you want to stay here. He's the president of the Republic of Dave. Duh. You can ask over at the Museum of Dave if you don't believe me. But you can't just wander around here. You need to go get permission from President Daddy first. Okay, I'll take you. But President Daddy doesn't always like new people. Okay, come with me. Dave doesn't like... Have Dave you heard about like Dave, Mr. Strangers. President Daddy says the people from outside the Republic are bad. I've got nothing to say to you, stranger. Good to see you. Almost as big as Dave. Hey. President Daddy, there's a wastelander who wishes to see you, sir. We have someone new in my Republic. I am Dave, President of the Republic of Dave. You will address me as Mr. President, or I will have you executed. Now, are you applying for a citizenship, asylum, or just vacationing in the Republic of Dave? You are? Excellent. It's good to see that the Wasteland has finally recognized the Sovereign Republic of Dave. If the people of the Wasteland are generous and respectful, I might deign to annex them. There's an election for the next president. Don't look so surprised. Can't you see this is a republic? Ah, a seeker of knowledge then. Well, trust me, an election is what separates a president like myself from a monarch like my father. How much radiation have you been exposed to? Not the butterfly, you moron. I meant the kind of leader that holds his office for a life. My father inherited his political power from birth and renamed this great nation the Kingdom of Tom. Although I also inherited my political power from my father when I took over, I formed a republic so the people may elect their leader. The election is still going on. What do you want to know? That would be Bob, Shauna, Jessica, Rosie, and myself. In the Republic, if you're old enough to carry a weapon, you're old enough to vote. Rosie and Jessica are usually here in the capital. Bob usually hangs out outside near the Brahmin pen. Shauna runs the Museum of Dave, so you can find her there. All right, sure, why not? 
The people have a tendency to wait until the last minute to vote, but I'd like just to get it over with. I'll spare a few caps if you just tell each of the adults to get over to the voting booth sometime today, so I cinch the victory. Not that I have anything to worry about. The people know who their leader is in this republic. There's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Before the people elected me president, I worked with a mercenary named Mr. Crowley. We were part of an expedition to Fort Constantine. Two of us died, including Crowley. The rest achieved the mission goals and were paid. Alive? I always wondered. He was locked in with a bunch of feral ghouls. They won't attack ghouls, you see. The key is part of the Republic of Dave treasury. I couldn't possibly part with it. You need all the keys to get through Fort Constantine. With only one key, there's no point in my going back. Hmm. Of course it would. I knew that. I was just testing you to see if you would realize it. Here, take the key. It is a gift from the Republic of Dave to the Wasteland. Of course I voted. I was the first to vote. Now I'm just waiting for the rest of the votes to come in. Very well. Man, the Brahmin smell. Dave says you're okay? Fine. I'll help you if I can. Only Dave. He's the only person who ever run. Glad to hear. You're safe as long as Dave says so. Hi there, honey. I heard that Dave allowed you to stay. Well, welcome, stranger. Just be mindful of the children. Election time is always exciting around here. Believe it or not, I used to lead a group bigger than this one on an old caravan route. I did it for years, and we did pretty well for ourselves. But what am I talking about? Running against Dave would be like betraying him. You're right! Dave's just been pushing me around. It's time for a change. Sure, honey, but don't make it too long or Dave will start wondering why we're talking. Dave is a good man. He looks after all the children and makes sure they have plenty to do. He's bought a lot of toys, not that he'd admit it. He has our Shauna teach classes to the younger ones. She's over at the Museum of Dave to the west of the Republic. Not much to say, really. I'm Dave's wife, or first wife, I guess. I've lived here for many years now. Well, yes, Dave and I were married when he was wandering the wasteland, before inheriting the Republic from his father, Tom. After Ralph was born, Dave said that the President of the Republic needed to repopulate the wasteland. So, now we have a second wife. <sighs> we have plenty of food and water here. And the compound is fairly safe. I'm glad the children can be raised here, away from the wasteland. I'd like to see more trading done with the local caravans, but Dave's afraid their outside influence could weaken the Republic. Sure, honey. You're right. I'll go right now. Are you gonna play Republic with us? President Daddy says the people from outside the Republic are bad. Come on, make it fast. I got chores. Oh yeah? What about it? So I've heard. She couldn't possibly think that she'd be better than Dave. Is that it then? Fine, I'll get out of the way.
those voting for Dave President Daddy says patriotic. the people from outside the Republic are bad. Yes? What is it? Who the hell made you the boss? Anyway, I did it already. Just don't bother me. I've got stuff to do for Dave. Fingers crossed. Man, Dave says you're okay? Fine. I'll help you. Poor girl doesn't stand much of a chance, does she? No way. You'd have to be crazy to run against him. Anything else? I guess you're right. I'll go right now. A wastelander! So, Dave gave you the okay, huh? Well, I run the Museum of Dave. Oh, yes. Everything here is from Dave's adventures in the Wasteland before he founded the Republic. I give a tour every day starting around 2 p.m. You should stop by then. I'd never really thought about that before. Why do you ask? Oh, wonderful. I'd be happy to accept your contribution on behalf of the Republic. And Dave just increased the budget for the museum this year, too. I was going to buy books for the children, but this is far more important. Great. What do you have? What wonderful items for the Museum of Dave. Oh no. Dave sent you to tell me that, didn't he? I'll go right away, I promise. Like in the stories about Dave. All done. Dave's the best. Ah, Dave, lead our Republic to glory. Do you need more than that gift? The election is still going on. An opponent? Seriously? But... But... Wait. No, this is a free republic. Let the people make their choice. I am confident that they will recognize me as their true and proper leader. Good. The votes are in. If you'll excuse me, I'll be getting started on tallying the numbers. Oh yes, I almost forgot. Here's your caps. Keep this up, and I may deign to make you a citizen in a few years. Later. Man, the Brahmin smell awful. Hi. So long. Dave says you're okay? I'm... Later. Evening. That's secure for a reason. Let's see what we have here. A vote for me. Hello. Another vote. For me. What? A vote for Rosie. Wait a minute. Has somebody tampered with the ballot box? Hello. Hmm. Bye. After counting the votes, the president is... Rosie! Rosie can't be president. No! This is unfair. This can't be. Fine. I'm leaving. See how you people do without me. Enjoy your new president. Hello. Well now, who could have ever thought? Me! President! Huh, things are really going to be different around here. Listen, I can't thank you enough. You convinced me that I could do this, and you were right. I want you to have something. Dave kept some big weapon or something locked up in the safe in his office. The code is 1138. It's yours if you want it. We don't need it anymore.
Ayu. Hey there. I guess you're wondering where I'm going. I'm off to annex old only and forge the new Republic of Day. Don't try to stop me. Evening.
used your help with those uglies. Tracked you using the deal. Riley sent me to find you so I could bring you this. Nothing. That's not how it works. Maybe next time you think about helping out a fellow ranger in trouble. Yes? I guess you're wondering where I'm going. I'm off to annex old only and forge the republic. Don't try to stop me. Greetings, fellow survivor. Another fine day in the wastes, isn't it? Why shouldn't I be? I've got food, I've got shelter, and I know humanity is on the rise again. Haven't you heard the good news? Haven't you read the Wasteland Survival Guide? Glory be! You're the great survivor! Bless you! Oh, bless you for sharing your wisdom with mankind! You've given us all a chance to hope again. Yes, it teaches us how to live and how to return to the paradise that was. Truly, it is our guide through this wasted land. Please, take these as my thanks. So many of us owe our lives to your great work. Bless you.
Hey.
Hello. What are you staring at? Just couldn't stay away. I might know something interesting if you're willing to pay for it. Okay, okay. No need to get upset. Crowley is running some sort of scam. He tried to get me to kill some Wastelanders, but I wouldn't do it. Dave is one of them. I've met Dave and he's mighty strange, but he's no biggin. He doesn't hate ghouls any more than I do. Yeah, see ya. I got work to do, so if you need something, spit it out. Scanning. Yes? What's happening? Well, look who's back. Do you have those keys yet? Well, it's pretty far away, northwest of here. Getting there won't do you any good, though, not without those keys. Later. Nobody tells me anything. Enjoying your stay. Not my type. Duck Borrows is friendly with him, but... but... What do you need? I think... Pleasure doing business with you. Sure. If... Bye. You wouldn't believe some of the things that happened to me this time. But I can't talk now.
How may I serve you, Master? I really want to. Good to see you. Yeah, what is it? I sure am, Sonny. What have you got for me? Well, all right. Let me count out your caps. Well, back to work. Hey there, buddy. Good to see you. Things are pretty hard, but it's getting better. Thanks again. You really talked some sense into me. Hey, I'm not much of a mudslinger. I don't like... No problem. Any... Stole what you stole what was rightfully mine. Get lost. fails to protect your life, I'll give you a full refund. Another satisfied customer. Come back soon, please.
What do you need? Let me... Everything... Thanks. Bye.
security protocol initializing. Hey there. Take a
along, please.
don't belong here. The super mutants have overrun our brothers at the Galaxy News radio building, and we're headed there to back them up. You can tag along if you want, but keep your head down and try not to do anything stupid. You've been living under a rock? This is DC. The entire city is crawling with super mutants. Now, if you'll excuse me. That's a negative. We've got too many local conscripts as it is. Most are undertrained and too damn trigger happy for their own good. Our very own Initiate Redden is a sterling example. The name's Sarah Lyons, Sentinel and Squad Commander of the Lyons Pride. We're with the Brotherhood of Steel. We do our best to hold back the super mutants in this area. But when civilians stumble into our sights, that gets a bit difficult, doesn't it? There aren't a lot of safe places in the ruins right now, but the Galaxy News radio building is sort of our port in the storm. Unfortunately, the building's been hit pretty hard lately. We're their backup. So if there are no more questions, we really need to move out. Watch yourself out there. What's the situation? Welcome. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see. Now knock that off. You're wasting ammo. Ah, uh, come on. We just kicked their asses. We need to sweep the area. You think those were all the uglies in DC?
clear out you here. Take Stand down. I'll go west. Okay, okay. Once we're inside, then we'll so. Now talking. <laughs> I guess it's my turn to thank you. Anyway, the area's secure, so you're free to talk to Three Dog if you need to. I'll take that as a compliment. If we don't try to keep the mutants from killing everyone and everything in the Capital Wasteland, who will? The Brotherhood does its best, but sometimes it takes a little something... special. That's where the Lion's Pride comes in. Well, the Brotherhood needed a secure outpost, and the guy who runs the radio station needed to not get his head ripped off by super mutants. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. Three Dog is the man in charge. He keeps that signal broadcasting pretty much single-handedly. He's, um, interesting. I'll give him that much. I'm sure. You can handle yourself. I'll give you that. But let's not get carried away. She died well. In the end, that's all that really matters. Watch yourself out there. face says it all. You're wondering who the heck this guy is and why you should care. Well, prepare to be enlightened. I am Three Dog, jockey of discs and teller of truths, lord and master over the finest radio station to grace the wastes, Galaxy News Radio. And you, well, I know who you are. 
Heard about you leaving that vault, traveling the unknown, just like dear old dad, huh? Met him already. Yep, guilty as charged. <laughs> we don't usually have exposure to the public like this. It's nice to know someone's listening. Makes carrying on the good fight that much easier. Imagine a picture, okay? A picture of the Capital Wasteland. All that brick and rock. A whole lot of nothing, right? There's people out there trying to just barely make it from day to day. Fighting to stay alive and make something out of what they got. But then you've got all kinds of shit. Slavers, super mutants, raiders. They all want a slice of the pie too. And aim to take it by force. Well, holy shit. Aren't you a chip off the old block? You are as smart as your dad. Since you know all about this cause, no need to explain the effect. Let's get you on your way. Oh, come on. You're a spitting image of the guy. He's been here before, and now you're here. Doesn't take a genius to figure it out. You want to find your dad. And it just so happens his location is known to yours truly. But if you want to know more, you're going to have to contribute to the good fight. I have the name and the talent. But what I don't have are people to run out and do the stuff I need. Sure, the Brotherhood watches over the place, yeah, but that's all they can spare. Galaxy News needs a doer. Someone who can go out there into that wild, woolly world and get shit done. So you game? You want to find your dad. And it just so happens his location is known to yours truly. He was here at Galaxy News. We had a great conversation. He's a real stand-up guy. If you want to know more, you're going to have to contribute to the good fight. Good, because this isn't going to be easy. Galaxy News Radio is my baby. I love it. I feed it. I keep it changed. But there's one problem. No one outside of D.C. can hear her cry. You see, some brainless super mutant thought it would be funny to shoot at the shiny round thing on the Washington Monument. Yep, that shiny thing was our broadcast relay. Now it's Swiss cheese. Without it, our broadcast range is quite limited. Of course, the factory that made the relay dishes is long gone, leveled. As in, we're never gonna scavenge that part again. It is risky. I would never lie to you. But there's something behind those eyes of yours that screams, I'm the one that can get shit done. Your dad had that same look in his eyes too. That's why three dogs helping you. One of the Brotherhood guys that passed through here mentioned seeing a dish in one of DC's old museums. It's the dish off the old Virgo 2 lunar lander in the Museum of Technology. I want you to get it and bring it to the Washington Monument to replace the bad one. That's it. <laughs> I sure know how to pick them. You're gonna be the best thing that ever happened to Galaxy News in a long time. If you need any more info, I'll be here waiting for you. You look like some of them. Head out the back door of GNR and take the collapsed car tunnel to the other side of DuPont. Then take the metro tunnels until you're there. Hey, be careful though. You'll have to find another way back, cause it's a one-way trip. Well, it's only the tallest thing left in the city. When you step out of the museum, take a good look across the mall. You can't miss it. Just be careful. There may still be a security barrier around it. Ha! <laughs> Man's monument to his own demise. All the garbage they displayed in there is the reason half the world was blown to shit. That shithole is located just off the mall. You know, that huge space in the center of the city in front of the capital. Be careful, the whole place is swarming with super mutants. Three dogs seen it all. The capital wasteland at its ugliest. People killed for scraps of food, wounded children wandering aimlessly, some seriously fucked up shit. If it wasn't for the good fight, I think I would have gone crazy by now. 
Why can't he coat the news when the world is in danger? People like the Enclave would have you believe everything is calm and totally under control. They're lying. Hell, President Eden goes around spreading peace, love, and government, but no one even knows how old that Enclave signal really is. People need to hear the truth. It's a harsh world. We've got to work together to make it better. Not wait for Uncle Sam to ride in and save the day. You've got to understand, if I die, so does the voice of the people. I can't take that risk. Your idea of saving the world means combing through the rubble and using a gun. I use my voice. We're two sides of the same coin. If you think always being a target of your enemies is safe, then you got a funny way of looking at things. Parents? Ha! I was born from the sun and have sand in my veins. Ha <laughs> ha! Just messing with you. My parents were very cool. They preached all about the haters and their bullshit, how to tell the propaganda from the real deal. Okay, go for it. Well, if you check out your radio, you can hear pretty good in this place. Get a few blocks away, still not too bad. Maybe a little static. Step outside the city limits, and it's Snake City. Nothing but... With the relay back on, you'll hear GNR clearly in the whole Capital Wasteland area like it used to be. Three to... If it... Right on, right on. Keep your radio tuned to GNR for the real gospel. What aid can I offer you, outsider? I'm sure Gunny could train you, but he won't. Not without permission from Elder Lyons. You should ask him. He's usually near the lab. Pal Steel be... Nothing at all. What have you heard? This place is coming. 